hello all and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how i made these delicious fried oyster mushrooms i fried a total of one and a half pounds of oyster mushrooms i bought these at whole foods i mixed the wet ingredients first this here is one cup of flour and three tablespoons of cornstarch as well as this vegan chicken flavored uh, consomme mix and as usual, when I'm creating new recipes, I take a little here and a little there, and then um, I include all of the uh, ingredients that I used in the description box. And this is what I mean. I started off with three-fourth cups of soy milk first, but then realized that wasn't enough liquid for the dry mix. Um, so I ended up adding one-fourth cup more. Uh, to create the batter that I was going to coat the mushrooms with. And once the wet mixture was done, I went ahead and I set it aside for a little bit while I mix the dry ingredients in a separate bowl. And here's where I started to combine the dry ingredients together. This is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and three-fourth cups of panko crumbs two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning. I also used uh, two teaspoons of chili powder. Um, use the one that you prefer. This is the one I used. One half teaspoon of ginger powder and one half teaspoon of uh, white pepper. This here is my favorite seasoning. I use one teaspoon of this, the all-purpose seasoning from McCormick. I also added one teaspoon of onion powder. This is the one I used. And here is where I mixed all the dry ingredients together. Once they were all mixed, I went ahead and I tasted it to see uh, the flavor. Um, this was because I was creating this recipe as I was um, making it. So the batter tasted fine, um, but the dry ingredients did need one extra teaspoon of this um, chicken flavored seasoning mix. So I added that at this point. Here's where I pulled the mushrooms apart to smaller pieces, not too small. And then I had my batter and dry mix ready. I went ahead and poured the batter into this bowl and then folded it into the mushrooms. I did want to marinate them in this batter for a little bit. So I actually did that um, by just letting it sit for about 10 minutes. Uh, I do want to say you want to be gentle with the mushrooms as they are very fragile um, and they might break apart if you are not. Now once they rested for 10 minutes it is time to start frying. I use canola oil to fry the mushrooms in. Use whichever oil you prefer to use um, um, or you can go ahead and use an air fryer if you have that. Um, that would work out wonderfully too. Here you see where I am frying them and I just repeated this technique over and over until all the mushrooms were fried. And let me show you once again how I did that. I went ahead and took the mushrooms that were sitting in the batter and I used my hands because this is the best method or technique. Um, this is what works best for me. I patted in the flour and then I dusted off as much flour as possible before putting the mushrooms in the oil. You see where I pick up the mushroom, dust off all the excess flour, and then put it in the oil to fry. Now fry these for a good 3-4 minutes um, on all sides until nice and golden brown. 
and then uh, I set them aside on top of a napkin to drain the excess oil off. Like I said, if you're using a, an air fryer, um, it would be the healthiest option. Um, I do not have an air fryer, so I did it this way. And um, I don't fry a lot of my food, so I don't feel guilty about doing this. Um, these were really delicious. And they could be used in a lot of dishes. Here they are all done and ready to be served. Here I have a shot of the inside texture of that. Um, the outside was nice and crunchy and flavorful. I did end up adding a spicier chili powder on one of the last batches that I fried. And it was really delicious. I used it on a side um, with a nice salad. And the first time I made it was this time here. I um, added it to a vegan teriyaki bowl with white rice. And that was also very delicious. I recommend using it in a sandwich. I have yet to do that. And I'm looking forward to making them again because they are so yummy. I hope you get a chance to recreate this recipe. I think you will enjoy it very much. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe for more recipes.